So I testified in front of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, uh, East Asia Subcommittee. So this was one of a series of hearings uh, organized by Subcommittee Chairman Cory Gardner of Colorado to put into action a piece of legislation that he worked uh, to pass into law in the last Congress, which was called the Asia Reassurance Initiative Act. And this session was on economic diplomacy in the Indo-Pacific region. So the legislation has three main pillars. It talks about security um, work in the region, it talks about economics, and it talks about values. I think with all of the turmoil that we're having in our relationship with China and with other parts of this important region, North Korea, Japan, other places where we've got a lot of issues, one thing that I stressed to uh, the members was that I think we should be more confident about our position in the Indo-Pacific. Yeah, we've got a lot of challenges there, but but the U.S. starts with a lot of assets. We have uh, great alliances, we have great companies, we have a big market that people want to access. Uh, our values, our soft power is very strong and very compelling for people in the region. And so I think we should start from a position of confidence and not one of anxiety or fear uh, that somehow we're going to be pushed out of the region or that China is going to take over to our detriment. I think there are challenges uh, with respect to China, but I think the U.S. Uh, can and I believe will uh, succeed in the Indo-Pacific. For more on my testimony and this critical issue, visit CSIS.org.